morning everybody the guy in front of me and myself are in the gate just like they said they would they opened the gate at exactly 6 30 a.m they're going to open the door so we can start unloading inside at about seven so we can take our tarps off out here because the weather is good it's not raining we'll be ready for them and we'll be out of here in no time shouldn't have any problem getting to my reload appointment south of minneapolis once I reload there, then I head back to Winnipeg. I'm hoping, if everything goes well, I can be in Winnipeg tonight yet. But the last couple of times I've picked up these loads, it's taken a little bit longer than that for it to clear for customs. So I should be able to get up to the border and maybe we'll have to cross in the morning, but hopefully they're a little quicker clearing customs today so that uh, I can be on my way. All right, I'm gonna get out there, take my tarps off. And we're out of here. Not bad, not bad. And off we go. My appointment in uh, Minneapolis is at 11 a.m. now. We moved it from 10 a.m. to 11. Which is good, because now I'll get there just in time. I have about two and a half hours of driving to go and I have two hours and 45 minutes <laughs> to get there. Let's hope for no big traffic jams in Minneapolis. Expecting nothing but the best, Minneapolis. Nothing but the best. Unforeseen, undetermined, unavoidable delays of indefinite length. So we'll see. Usually it's pretty quick. Usually it's pretty quick. But uh, I have been known to sit here before for longer than I'd like to. But if you think about it, I've already been sitting here longer than I want to, and I just got here. We gotta get loaded and tie it down yet. That's the thing about, I did uh, dry van freight for six years, right? Oh, those were the days. Oh, you show up there, you just back into a door, they throw it in, you close the doors, boom, you're gone. Don't have to worry about it until you get your destination. Seal it up, don't even look at it. Forget about it. Flatbed is not the same. I like flatbed a lot better, actually. I've, I've, I've really grown to love it. I don't know if I'd go back to dry vans. Why not? But dry vans and me are just gravy now. Super easy. We'll see. I'm 35. I got a lot of career ahead of me yet. A lot of years ahead of me. Who knows what's going to happen? I can't see myself doing anything other than open deck. Though. But never say never. I've learned that. I've learned that. Never say never. Except when you say never to say never. Don't say never. I'm all loaded up. We've got to get around the city of Minneapolis now and be in Winnipeg, hopefully tonight. 
All depending on customs clearance and if they can get my load cleared before I get there. It's still pretty uh, pretty good time in the afternoon, so the brokers should have lots of time to do their thing. Make me a happy trucker and get my load cleared. And then I have another reload in Kenora I gotta get to tomorrow afternoon yet. So busy, busy, busy. I like it. Moved an inch, that's good. I think I'm gonna put another notch on these ones though. Just tighten these guys up just a little bit. Yeah, that's a good I could use one more notch. Manitoba. It was a it was a rush day today and tomorrow's gonna be another day just like it. From here I gotta I gotta stop for my 10 hours because I'm going back into the US tomorrow. And I have to stop 10 hours, like you know. And uh, from here I'm gonna rush to Winnipeg right after my 10 hours are up, get this stuff off my trailer, unload it, rush back to Kenora, put more lumber on my trailer, tarp it, and rush back down. Brainerd because I got to unload there the next day first thing in the morning and then I don't know what my reload is but maybe I'll do another one of these uh, Minneapolis runs but in that case I'm gonna have to rush down to Minneapolis that day again and then 
rush back to Winnipeg. So it's it's been a rush, rush week. But that's the way you like it, right? You, you don't want to be sitting around with nothing to do. Busy is good during the week. As long as you got some days off to look forward to or something. You don't want to be rushing day after day after day after day after day after day after day. But uh, this has been a good week. We've been running hard and I like it. It's been keeping me busy. But I'm tired now. I've got all my stuff up front here. I'm going to go to bed. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, a little bit of a short vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button. I've been making videos for about 12 years here on YouTube. If you go to my playlists on my main page, go and like click my username, go to my main page, you can see my playlists that go all the way back to like 2011, I believe. I got them all organized there for you too, so it's easy to follow along. And every day, uh, every day when I upload a new video, I add that video into the current playlist as well. There's one playlist where it's like all the way from the beginning till now, and then I also have each season, which is each year of vlogging, listed separately there. You'll find it. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.